Hey people, welcome to the channel, and in this case, talking about the best feature we get with 323. This is something that's not talked about almost at all. It's almost as if CIG wants to keep this gem hidden as a big surprise, a big reveal when it finally goes to live. So I don't want to ruin the party, I don't want to ruin the surprise, but I'll tell you right away. It is the balancing of the economy. We're getting new prices for ships. Let's go check these out in Astro Armada. Guys, this is not just happily raising prices. No, they hired an economist for this. All right, because there's going to be a lot of salty, angry people saying they're doing this just so that people spend money, real money, buying the ships because it's going to be so terribly expensive in game. There's going to be those, uh, yeah, bad people. But fortunately, they hired an economist to do this. But as you see, it's not here in the EPTU 323. So we check the prices. There's nothing here. Why is it? Is it because they don't want people to freak out and start complaining about how greedy bastards they are? Is it because of that? Or is it because they want to have a big reveal of, look, you have inflation in the real world, now you have inflation in, the, in, in Star Citizen as well. Well, fortunately, we do have those because they have been leaked. So let's go here on our good old Reddit, friends, and here's the actual prices that we will have. Uh, they are, man, they are high, guys. They are super high prices. So for your 890 jump, it's going to be 109 mil. 600 I, that's 45 mil. Fuck, that's high. A245, 600 I, Touring, that's 41 mil. Carrack, 37 mil. M2, um, C2, 24 mil. Damn, that's, the C2 was like 5 mil. Now it's almost five times as much. 24 mil for a C2. Uh, Hull C21 mil. Phoenix 23. 400i, 19 mil. Even your Kanye Andromeda, 16 mil. That was like, what, 3 mil? That's a lot more expensive, man. A lot more expensive. Caterpillar, 15 mil. Mole, 14 million. Cons the Taurus. Taurus was definitely 3 mil. Now it's 12 mil, almost 13. Uh, Vanguard Harbinger. This is so it, this was two mil. Now it's nine million. Damn, that's super expensive. Inferno five mil. Freelancer Max five mil as well. Yeah, these are insane, guys. Th these are super high prices. Buccaneer almost two mil for a little buck. There's, I think there's only one vehicle that, like a car or something like that, or or, or they, I, I think the Pisces went down a little bit, but they say that they're balancing. No, they're not balancing a damn thing. Everything is super expensive, a lot more expensive, four, five, even ten times more than before. So yeah, that it, it it's, it's interesting. I love the fact that they actually got a guy. On one of the on, on the YouTube videos saying that oh I'm an economist so I'm you know I'm balancing here things um, yes these are spaceships they're supposed to be expensive really prospector 3.7 mil damn that that is so the economist guy is, is the one that already told us in one of these uh, videos that they put up saying well this has to be balanced because spaceships are expensive right well if you want to make it super realistic then i guess you would have to play for 10 years before you can buy any spaceship at all or maybe you need a hundred backers a hundred players um, pooling money because yeah sure it's like buying a plane in the real world right it should be tremendously expensive so if you want to be realistic but this is a fucking game. It's not supposed to be torture to buy the ships. Especially giving the ships is the only thing we have in the game. Everything you do, all of the missions, it all re revolves around no progression whatsoever, but making money to buy ships. You cannot buy houses. You cannot buy anything that gives you any sense of progression other than buying a bigger ship, getting a reclaimer, which is now going to be 28 mil. And by the way, this is a, a great segue into, okay, super expensive, but how much money am I going to be making? 
a lot less because with our economist friend there, he's going to be balancing things so as to make you make very little money. It is nerfed to the ground. You're not making the money with the reclaimer anymore. All of the re all of the crazy reclaimer and salvage money, gone. And it's going to be like 10% of what you see uh, uh, around that. It's going to be very much nerfed to the ground. So you're going to be making no money. <laughs> you're going to be making no money in game. And things are going to be a lot more expensive. And guess what most people will do? Yes. This is not an intended consequence. This is just pure coincidence. But most people will say, you know what? I just want to have my fucking C2. How much is it? Okay. A few hundred bucks. There you go, CIG. That's it. Thanks. Now, I'm not going to be grinding for months on the same game mechanics you had me locked into for last couple years. I'm not. I'm driving crazy here. Just want to fly around with the crappy master modes that you're giving me but at least enjoy flying a little bit with my C2, running cargo, and so on. So these are the things that are super expensive. These are the things they want you to buy with real money. Pretty expensive ships. You're not going to be getting them anymore in-game. It's going to be almost impossible for the average player to get any of these you know, more expensive, larger ships. But it's all a coincidence. Let's not be... Right. Let, let, let's not be sarcastic and, and, and let's not think that they're doing this for the money, for ship sales. They would never do something like that, okay? Okay, guys, don't be like that. I hate it when people think poorly of the saints over at CIG doing this kind of, of greedy shit. They would never do that on purpose. This is all just a big old accident. And it's because of the... Blame the economist guy. The economist guy they hire is the one that told Chris Roberts, you have to make in-game ships more expensive. If not, this makes no sense. And people need to make a lot less money in-game. Come on, reflect the world as it actually is in your fantasy video game. <laughs> Alright, see you next time guys, take care.